Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are at uh, Brufoot Beach slash Ghana Town Beach. And uh, we are here, so let me take you around so that you can see what we have here. Uh, yes, so come with me and let's see the place together. Thank you. Slash Ghana Town Beach, and you can see the canoes here. A lot of them. We have a whole lot of canoes here. A whole lot. And every day, this place is busy every day. The fishermen are coming with fish every day. So when you come here, you will have fresh fish to eat. There's fresh fish available for everybody here. So you can come. And as you can see, they are also mending their nets. There are some people mending their nets here, as usual. So, uh, here I want to, we want to go, um, I want to go and check out some lobsters. I want to check out some lobsters, so come with me as we go to see the lobsters. They are grilling fish, this kit, oh my goodness. Fresh fish. <laughs> so, we're going to um, get some lobsters. Then we are with some lobsters. Some lobsters, as you can see. We are here with some lobsters. And I'm um, here with my brother. He will introduce himself. Your name, please? Father. His name is Father. Father of the nation. Yes. <laughs> this is the work that you do? Yeah. Uh, you buy and sell uh, lobsters? To Senegal. To Senegal? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. How long have you been into this business? Like about seven years now. Seven years? Yeah, yeah. And then can you tell me how has it benefited you? Yeah, I do everything by my own without asking no one. So it's another beneficiary. Wow, you are able to sustain yourself and your family. Sure. Mm -hmm. That is nice. And uh, I want to know how expensive is this lobsters? The kilo is like, we sell it. It depends on the, uh, how the season works. Uh, when the season is up, the price is up. When the season is down, the price is down. But for the moment, the price is $900 here. For kilo? Yeah. And how many makes a kilo? Like roughly? The bigger the price, the less the pieces you have. <laughs> <laughs> the smaller the pieces you have, yeah, the, the quantity you want to have in the kilo. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you sell this to only Senegal? If, if you have this bigger size, you cannot have like, uh, you cannot have like, let's say, uh, seven pieces there. You can, let's say, have like five or four pieces that makes kilos. But the smaller ones you have, like this, you can have like roughly eight or seven to make kilo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's nice. So do you only send this to Senegal or you send it to another country or you also sell in the Gambia? Only Senegal and Gambia. Only Senegal and Gambia. You don't export to any no. other country? No, 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 no. 
Wow, I think you should look for ways and means to, you know, go yeah, just broader. Yeah, just sort of a start. We are looking how the business can grow. We don't need to sell like Gambia and Senegal. If you can sell in Europe, that would be best for us. Wow, we that's... Start, we sell it to Senegal and Gambia. Okay, that's yeah. nice. That's nice. That's nice. And these lobsters, I can see that they are all alive. But you never sell lobster when it's dead. You don't sell lobster when it's dead. Yeah. So... It's very risky. That's a tip for you. Anyone who wants to buy lobster, yeah. buy lobster that is alive. Yeah. Never buy lobster that it's is dead. dead. It's very risky. Wow. It's risky because of what? It can contaminate or... It has a texture that can affect someone. That's like food poisoning, yeah, stuff like that. Very good. Oh, wow, and that's nice. They don't eat it. It's very, they're allergic with it. For me, I don't eat it. I work for it, but I don't eat. Yeah, allergic to it. Yeah, I don't eat lobster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I see, I see, I see. So now what are you doing? You want to weigh it or... No, we already weighed. You have to drop it inside the water there. You see that's, uh, that's basket there? Yes. Yeah, we drop it there for like two, three days. So my partner will come and collect it to take it to Senegal. And they will all be alive in three days? Sure. No, no. Well, some will die. But then you know that it's still fresh. Yes. They were alive when they were... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you are going to do that right now? Yeah, right now. Okay. So can we go together so that we see the process or... Mm, okay. Still have something else that you come are doing? Come here. You have to hold here. Come here. Oh... Uh, Okay, so right now we are going with him to see the process of... Uh, he's going to put them in the basket. They need to be alive when uh, the buyers come to buy. And like he already explained, you need to buy lobster when they are alive. You don't need to buy lobsters that are dead because it's dangerous for you. It can cause food poisoning. It can, you know, give you sickness and all that. So... We are going to see the process of putting them into, um, I think it's a box that has holes in it, and it's with water. Okay, I think there's something inside that has the water that they can swim in. So come with us. We are going to look at the process of uh, preserving the lobsters so they don't die. Yeah, so come with us. Come with us. Wow. 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 Okay, there are some inside already. Huh? Yeah. You have some inside already? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's opening it. Yeah. So you will leave it inside um, the sea like this? Yeah. No one will steal them? No, no, no. Wow. So they can, nice. they can be here for a roughly a month. Without dying, because of the sea water? Yeah. Oh, okay. When the water is cool, it's, all, it's okay. Okay. So, we are now putting the lobsters inside. Oh, see me and lobster. Ooh. See me with the lobster. The lobster is alive. Oh, this one is weak. <laughs> <laughs> it is alive! Oh my goodness! Woo. Wow! What do you do here? Uh, I just go to fishing. Ah, you go for fishing? What kind of fish do you normally uh, catch? Uh, calamari. Calamari. Wow, that's nice. That's expensive fish, you know. And lobster. And lobster. Oh, okay. So, do you work with him as well or you are just helping? No, I'm just helping. Okay. I'm told that you leave these um, lobsters in the sea here. Yes, or maybe two days or three days. 
two or three days. Uh, if the buyers are coming by, then the, the people who are coming to buy will be here to buy them. People who are coming to buy, they, they used to go with, uh, go with him to Senegal. Oh, okay. They'll go with him to Senegal. So, this two to three days that you are going to leave this here, they are not going to die? No, no. But how are they going to feed? What will they eat? This one. Yeah. Uh, me also, I don't know. <laughs> Even right. me, I used to think about that, what they, they used to eat. Wow, but, but, but they, will, they will still be alive and healthy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. That's Thank nice. You. Okay, yeah, so, um, <laughs> I wanted to know how expensive they are. This clue. It's very expensive. The kilo is more, uh, maybe it's thousand five. Maybe thousand five. It depends. Um, father told me it depends on the season. When the season is up there, it's more expensive. But when it's down, I think it's less expensive because you don't have many people buying it. Yes, is yes, that yes. That's true. Oh, okay. Are you passionate about this? You are passionate about fish, or you grew up knowing this? What motivated you into doing this kind of business? Jambon. <laughs> that's, that's, Father. That, that culture is right. It's right. Okay, you can just tell me something small. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't grow into fish. I you just, do? I just learned it uh, here. Oh, you Whatever. learn about it here? Yeah. Woo. Whatever I know, I just know how it from here. From this place, yeah. but you love it, right? Yeah, I love it. Oh, okay, it. that's money, nice. money, I'm money, money from it. I love it. That's good. Yeah. That's what we call passion. Yeah. You love what you do. Yeah, I love what I not do. just because of the money, right? Yeah, very good. Oh. Wow. So now they've put everything inside and they are closing it. So now they are tying it and then they will take it inside the sea. There is a bigger basket there where they are going to um, put this inside so that it does not float away. So when the customers are here, they will call them and then they will bring them out so that they can be weighed and then sold. And he also said that um, the cars that they come um, from the car with should have AC so that the lobsters don't die. They, uh, they don't like heat, so anytime there is heat, they will die. So that's how the business works. They need um, AC cars, AC cars, so they don't die. Okay. So you, you get lobsters once a week? No, no. Every week. So they will come tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, uh, Tuesday. They will come and collect it Tuesday. So like, let's say Tuesday, what I have, I will drop it here. Maybe Monday or Sunday they will come again. Okay. So they have oh, okay. So you get lobsters every, every day. day. Yeah. You get lobsters every day, but they come to buy them once in a week. A week. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like you said, but this when it's plenty. They come twice a week. Uh, when it's plenty, they come twice a week. That is when it's the season. Yeah. Okay. So, what period is the season like to um, yeah, the period get of it, lobster? This is the period. October, November. Yeah? October, November yeah. is the period of lobsters. Yeah. Okay. After, after November, it's the period of lobster. Okay. So for December, it's not going to be plenty. We have very few. But I thought they love cold, and December is cold. Yeah, but December, the fish doesn't come out. <laughs> is that it's when like, they are... It's like you. When it's cold, we hide ourselves. When it's cold, so the fish, so they hide themselves. <laughs> okay, yeah. I see. So when the, fish, uh, the sea is hot, the fish, they never go out. They come to the uh, top of the water. But on top of the water, is cool. It's cool, they come there. But when it's like... It's cool. They always go inside the stools to hide themselves. Okay, so I want to know, is lobster the only thing that you are doing or you do other um, types Not of only lobster. Things? I have tiger prunes also. I send them to Dakar. Yeah. My it's partner is in Senegal. Okay, he's your business partner. Yeah. I thought maybe you just sold to him. No, I have a partner in Senegal. Oh, okay. I'm saying, how is the fishing um, industry in the Gambia? Do you think it's that big? And it's helping the economy of the country as well? Yeah, it's helping the economy of the country because if you see, but, but most of the Gambians are not like fishing the sea to come here to make business. Because most of the Gambians, they are not like, they are used to this kind of business. 
Yeah. They do another kind of business than coming to the sea to buy this seafood to export to Dakar. Very few government do it. Okay, but yeah. I, I... They know what's the, what's the benefit? Mm -hmm. They will come. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. So what will you say? Like, what are you going to say to encourage people, uh, the other Gambians, so that they can also come and venture into this business? Maybe they don't know about the business. If they know, they will come. I'm encouraging them for them to come. But that's this is their land. They have to work here and live here. You are not paying any rent. Yeah. So you can work and live more money. Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> that's very true. You are not paying any rent. From work, you go to your house. So you can make good business. And the fish is free. Yeah, very good. <laughs> the fishes are free. So right now, they are taking the, um, the lobsters to the, to the box inside the sea that's the lobster box they are taking the lobster box to the basket you call it a basket right so that's where they are going to stay till tomorrow that's your rope that's your rope that's your rope there and that white bowl so they that white bowl they will tie it there yeah and then that's where uh, it's going to be until the buyers come yeah. to buy Thank, thank you for coming. Okay, Father, thank you for your time and thank you for taking your time to explain to us what you do here, how it's been helping your family and yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope next time when I'm here, you'll also be able to help me out with any other thing that you do here. No, I only like, like sell lobsters and shrimps. And shrimps. That's my business. Okay, next time I would like to come and see the shrimps and how you preserve them for you're sales. You're welcome. All right. Thank you very much, Father. Bitter. <laughs> bitter in Germany, you're welcome. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs>